Hello and welcome back to the Zava Sound YouTube channel. My name is Donald Odom and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about how to basically get lower thirds on your live stream. Now that's kind of a broad uh, statement because everybody's systems are slightly different. Um, in reality, we're going to be talking about how to send a, um, a look out of ProPresenter with reformatted text via Siphon with transparency, basically, to overlay on top of your video. Now, um, this is not as complicated as it sounds. If you're using OBS Stream and ProPresenter to do all of your, your lyrics, this is, this is a very simple process. Um, you have to be, for this particular example, you have to be on the same exact machine. Um, Siphon is a client, or I guess it's really a protocol that allows you to transfer video um, with an alpha channel, without an alpha channel, with transparency, without transparency, that's basically what that means, um, uh, on the same computer. So basically two programs running simultaneously on the same computer, talking to each other via Siphon and transferring video from one to another. Now, there's another protocol called NDI. So basically, if you have ProPresenter on one machine and OBS on another machine or a combination of that, you can send video, video over the network via NDI. Now, for this particular example, we will be using the same machine for everything. So ProPresenter and OBS are running on the same machine. This is a 2020 Mac Pro, brand new Mac Pro. Um, so there's, you know, the, we're, there's no lag. There's no issues with this machine whatsoever. It, this is cake work uh, for a machine like this. Now, you should, uh, you know, be nice to your computer in a sense. If your computer is lower end, don't expect it to do, don't expect it to do more than it can. So sometimes you might want to have ProPresenter and OBS on separate machines. Um, for the installs that I do, usually I recommend a Dell G5 uh, desktop that can do basically both at the same time. Um, Anyway, that's all besides the point. Just know what your machine can handle and what it can't. I can't really tell you. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna know. You kind of gotta test it. So basically, this is how you're gonna do it. So if I have this, um, uh, you can see this triple wide video right here. Um, basically, we have three projectors in the room that build out this image, and we usually put our lyrics in the center like this. So I put upper lyric test and lower lyric text test over here. So these would kind of be your um, your uh, test, uh, or I'm sorry, this this would kind of be your your lyrics essentially for your screens. Now I get some people that aren't in churches might be watching this video. So whatever text you have in ProPresenter, that's what we're going to be sending out to OBS. And for churches, this really pertains to kind of only you. Um, I'm going to actually create another one of these as well that says something different. So maybe one 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 and two 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 two. All right. So now if we switch back and forth, you can see um, that that happens. And I'll also change the background on this and remove the label so we can kind of bounce back and forth between two different things. Um, so basically what we want to do is take the text that's here and here and be able to output it to OBS in a lower third format. It's very simple to do. All you're going to do is go to screens, configure screens. You can see I have a lot of stuff here. I'm going to call this OBS, te OBS test. First, you're going to want to add it to a siphon. So, so let me take a back step here. You're going to click add. Make sure you're doing this in audience and not stage. Add new siphon. 1280 by 720. Now this is actually siphon three because I have two other siphons currently running. Now what I'm going to be doing is calling this YouTube, everything I'm going to call YouTube videos. So that way you guys know, my YouTube viewers, what we're doing exactly. I'm going to click enter and boom. That's not it. But the first step, which is one of the easier steps, is now complete. So now over here you'll see that this, in our preview, we can open up YouTube videos. So you can see that this is not properly formatted for lower thirds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to screens. We're going to do edit looks. We're going to add a new look here. And you can see that all of our displays are laid out here. And all of our options for what's being sent to those displays are here vertically. So the displays are horizontal, triple wide, OBS, graphics, Resolume, YouTube. You guys don't have to worry about any of these three. Resolume, graphics, or OBS. 
we're talking about the triple wide and YouTube. So the triple wide, we can send everything to. Maybe you don't want the video input. Maybe you don't want the announcements layer. Maybe you don't want props or messages. Now, we'll be talking about that in the future. Now, for the YouTube feed, we don't want props or messages. Now, you might want that in the future, again, or the announcements layer. But we want slide. We don't need the video input. Now, let me show you what media is. Media is anything that's behind. Sorry, I thought I heard something in the uh, background, basically. So you can see if we turn media off, it does not go away here. But if we turn slide off, it doesn't go away here either. Now, it's not because of any particular reason. It's just because if we look up here, the live look is something different. So if we activate this look, now look one, which I guess didn't take the name, YouTube videos, is now active. So if we go here and we remove the media and we make that live, you can see that the media goes away. And if we disable the slide, the slide goes away. So we want only the slide to be activated on our lower thirds. All right, so YouTube videos is the current look that we're, we're working with here. So in practical terms, this might be called worship or you know lower thirds or something. Ooh, we definitely don't want to delete it. Uh, so now we want to format this with a theme only to this. So basically this will stay the same. And then this YouTube videos will become a lower third format. So we're going to go back to edit looks and then see where this says presentation. We want to basically add a theme to this. Now, Renewed Vision gives you some themes here. They're not that great. I created my own. So basically, if you, I, I chose capture because that's basically what we're doing, capturing, live streaming, whatever. Uh, you can actually build these two. Now, if you click edit here, I can show you guys what I did to create my lower thirds. So basically, if you put, if you know that you are going to be building your lyrics or your slides in only two lines of text, I would suggest doing it like this. So you have two layers of text here, text and text. So if there's only one layer, it will go in the middle. And if there's two layers, it will go here and here. So basically, you add a text object here and then if you wanted to put a background behind it you would just add you know a shape rectangle so if you wanted to put this here behind it then you just drag this down so now it would be formatted like that obviously we don't want that so that's basically just a short and sweet example of themes and these are all different themes some of them come pre-programmed actually from uh renewed vision um, so i have two here tc default and tc default with a box so you can see those are the two that I frequently use. I usually just use that one. So now we got to go back here. And now I'm going to apply that TC lower thirds look. Or I'm sorry, theme. Uh, where is it? Capture. TC default. Boom. Now we're going to make that live. So you can see now our text jumps down here lower. So now you're probably going to ask me, well, what's up with the triple wide screens? That stays the same. Whatever the slide does here is what this is going to do. So if you build out your presentation 1280 by 720 and you produce and you want to produce this image, you would still keep this here like that. Um, it, just build out your slide normally how you'd want it on your main screens in the room. And then for your live stream, you know, or lower thirds channel um, or output rather, um, I call it a channel because it, it really is a video channel being sent out. Um, but it, our YouTube videos... Uh, display, which is our what Pro Presenter sending to OBS via Siphon, is now formatted correctly with the lower third. So now, if we jump into OBS, I'm going to add a new um, scene here. I'm going to call this one as Promise YouTube Videos. Add my Black Magic device, which is my ATEM switcher. So you can see that's what I'm sending from my ATEM. So if I come down here and I click Auto, you can see. Now I'm jumping to another input on my switcher. So we're going to lock that. So that's going to be our base layer. And then what we're going to add on top of that is our Siphon client. Create a new Siphon client. Call it Siphon 3 because that's the Siphon that we're... It doesn't... You can name this anything. We can call this, um, you know, beans or something. I don't really know. So, so this layer is going to be called beans. Or this, uh, I'm sorry, this siphon input's going to be called beans. 
Um, <laughs> and then we're going to pull that from siphon three. So you can see there's our lower thirds. It's kind of poorly. The resolution's not great. We can kind of do that so I can show you. And then we're going to click allow transparency. So now it's only the text because that's the alpha channel that we're activating. And you can see there's our lower thirds on top of our um, video from our ATEM switcher. And then you just basically stream. It's that simple. So if I go like this and I clear out what's in ProPresenter, it clears out on my screens and it clears out my lower thirds. Now if I go here, upper lyric test, there's upper lyric test, I'm um, sorry, upper lyric test, lower lyric test. And then if I click this, there's one, 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 two, 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 two. So you kind of get the idea. Now I'm going to go back here real quick because I, I made this mistake in the beginning because I'm not a video guy. I'm an audio engineer by trade, but I'm the production director for a church. So I kind of had to learn this stuff. Make sure that your media layer is gone because you can see what happens if your media layer is on. It's going to send this huge triple wide image or whatever you have in the background, any media, any video that's playing. Um, I would suggest adding another display if you wanted to do like a full screen video and send it from ProPresenter. Um, we actually output um, our video out of our deck link um, card using this graphics um, or one of our graphic or one of our SDI outputs on the deck link card into the ATEM. So basically, if we needed to get our you know our, get graphics or get videos back in back into OBS, we do it hardwired. That way we bypass the, the uh, basically using another display in the siphon feed out into, we only r run one siphon feed and it's for lower thirds. Everything else is brought in to the stream um, uh, using the ATEM. Um, anyway, so that's about it. And also I should mention, we don't actually use this as stream. We have a living as one encoder, but it's just easier to put lower thirds on here and do a pass through back into the machine. Um, so that's basically why we do that. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I really uh, try to respond to patrons first. So if you're um, uh, if you're a patron, you can basically have access to me at any you know time of day. Um, you know, any twelve. Uh, I think you know I usually respond to emails within twelve hours, and I'm on the East Coast, so you can kind of get an idea of what times I respond to stuff. So yeah, become a patron. I'd really greatly ap appreciate that by going to patreon.zavasound.com. You know, we have a few members over there, and um, it does help a lot. I make these videos on my time. I don't make a ton of money doing it, but I really do enjoy helping people and teaching people stuff because a lot of these things I didn't know a year ago. So uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it all makes sense. If it doesn't, again, please comment, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, guys, so I was just editing the video, and I noticed something that I left out. Um, this is pretty important to just remember. So basically... On these, you can always go up to um, you can always go up to edit looks and make stuff live here. Um, but so say we wanted to make now this is the one I actually use for the church service. So if I went to go make this live now that's or I'm sorry the worship portion of the service um, you want to be able to make this live in an easier way. Or if you do instead of going here and making it live this particular uh, look you can always just go right click add action audience look and then add the worship look. Or I know it was just called something else in the video, or the YouTube videos look that we created. So basically, if we're this is basically what I'm sending out to um, via uh, via Siphon um, to OBS. But let's say that pre slash post was live. You can see that this isn't isn't now getting sent. But if I click this, it activates that audience look without having to go to screens live and then selecting the the audience look that's live. So that's just a little trick just so you guys, because I know I'm going to get that question in the comments, um, just a little tiny trick and something you guys should definitely know about the audience looks. All right. Thanks again. Catch you next time, everybody.